Hi guys, Peter McKinnon just published a video about the Mantis tripod, and that looks like a fantastic tripod that I would definitely use if I had one, but I don't have one. And since it costs $150 USD, I'm probably not gonna get one. But I do have something that I was actually just about to do a review on, and then when I saw Peter's, I said, well then, we gotta make a little comparison video, don't we? Because me and Pete, we are tight. We are besties. He said that he likes me more than he likes Maddie. That is true. Look it up. This here is a Ulanzi tripod. I will put the exact model up on the screen. It's, uh, I think it's MT36 or something like that. Is they have several models of tripods and all of them are fantastic. But this one I love very much. It has a bunch of hidden features that you might not know about. And uh, one of the best, one, one of the best features of this thing is, I'm not like Peter McKinnon. I don't make really slick video so it's just that guy's amazing anyway he's really been killing it lately don't you think anyway one one of the best features of this tripod is that it is 22 dollars 22 dollars and it can do so many things let's talk about it You know what's the worst thing about reviewing my favorite little vlog tripod is that uh, I had to put my camera on something else. Look at this. This here is a, uh, a Joby Gorillapod. My a7 IV is not secure. Do not buy one of those. However, maybe you should buy one of these. So I'm on my little Ulanzi stick right now. And one of the things about the Mantis pod that Peter mentioned that is good is that you can uh, position it differently so that it can extend further. Well, I think the Ulanzi did them one better because you don't have to reposition your camera. You just pull out the selfie stick and you can go a whole lot further. Watch this, see? Okay, okay, that's pretty far. We're not done. Ooh. Okay, now we're done. However, uh, my arm's probably gonna crack off. I wouldn't recommend you do this unless your camera is super light, but that is how much you can extend your camera Oh boy, I need to go back to the gym. This is how much you can extend your camera if you were maybe Casey Neistat, right? Oh my goodness. Okay, let's put that back. So now I'm holding the camera out at a comfortable length and even I can handle this right now. So uh, if you're gonna use a heavier setup, I think Peter had like a Canon R3 and I wouldn't put that on this stick because I think that that would be too heavy. But as long as you're carrying, you know, like this is a full frame camera. This is an a7 IV with a 24 millimeter G Master. It's a pretty heavy setup. I will put it on the screen here and this tripod handles it no problem even out extended so as long as you're being a mere mortal that is not carrying around like a red cinema camera then this tripod will do you fine now, if you're gonna go crazy like peter set up yeah you know maybe the mantis pod is the way to go okay so i'm back inside because people were looking at me funny with my selfie stick not a selfie stick tripod and this tripod look at this i can show you here how far it extends look at this i'll try to keep it in the frame Looking at my monitor here. This is 81 centimeters. So you could even do those like fake dolly shots and crane shots. You know, just like, like you got a drone, you know, if you put a phone on this thing or a lightweight camera. Wait a second, phone. What do you mean phone? Ah, watch this. You take the legs, put those down here, up, phone holder that extends. Look at that nonsense. Oh my God, isn't that? and you don't have to get the attachment and put it on, then we're gonna put your camera back on right there. Oh, and also the phone holder has a little cold shoe on top there. So if you wanna put something on top of your phone, I'll just show you my phone right now. You see that? That is an iPhone 13 Pro, and there is still some more room. I don't know if it would hold a Pro Max, but yeah, I mean, it probably would, right? So anyway, and it also has a uh, vertical mode here, see? I mean, a lot of tripods have this, but it's nice to know that you have this option. I should have the phone flipped the other way, but you know what I'm saying. You can put it on the side. You can do that with the camera too. Vertical mode with the a7 III. See, it holds my full frame cameras. Just tighten that right there. And now I will say this, this is a, you know, it weighs nothing. It's a very light tripod and coming with that is a plasticky build. There is, the whole thing is plastic. And so I wouldn't think that this would survive a big fall and there is some flex in the legs so when you put it on a hard surface you don't want to be banging on that hard surface or the thing might bounce up and down a little bit but the flex is actually quite comfortable when you're holding it vlog style which is how the reason I, I bought the tripod in the first place and once you lay it on a flat surface and you leave it alone it, it's 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 very solid it stays good and if you need it to go a little bit higher when you're talking you just put it up and it just stays there it's 
It's just so versatile. Now, there are some things the Mantis has that this doesn't. Number one, the, the build quality, the, the fact that that can probably hold a red Komodo. And then you, you also, uh, it has that little Mantis hook at the back. And this one does not have that. So that is specific to the Mantis pod there. So if you want something that hangs off walls or crates or whatever else, then, you know, the Mantis pod is pretty much the only way to go. And the Mantis also has a cold shoe right here so that you could connect another peripheral. It would be nice if this had it. There are a bunch of Ulanzi tripods that in fact do have that cold shoe mount and ones that are sturdier, ones that are made of car carbon fiber, but some of those are $40, $50, $60. I wanted to find the cheapest thing that got the job done and uh, I was really impressed with this. I had no intention of doing a review of this thing until I realized I use this every day and I love it very much. So there you go, short and sweet. I'm just trying to give you the budget option. People call me the budget Peter McKinnon all the time. They never do. Not one person has ever said that. However, you know, if you wanted that Mantis pod that he was showing you because, you know, who wouldn't, but you were thinking a little too expensive, I think this one will cover the bases for a lot of people, myself included. I'll leave some links to some Ulanzi ones because they make, like I said, they make different ones and you may find the perfect one for you. I just, uh, I'm a big fan of their products. They don't sponsor me. No, they don't know who I am. I just bought this out of my own money. I just went on Amazon and I was looking for one and I lucked out in that these things are really really good. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment if you got one. Uh, tell me something that you want me to tell Peter because we're really, really good buddies and I'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye-bye. What's up, everybody? Nailed it.